West Blockton is a town in Bibb County, Alabama, United States. At the 2020 census, the population was 1,217. The current mayor is Daniel Sims. On November 7, 2016, mere moments after his inauguration during a meeting with two absent council members, Sims announced the reappoints of all town officials except for the police chief. Jay Cromer, was named new chief at a specially called meeting of the city council in late 2016. It was built on land once owned by Uriah Smith, near the company town Blockton. Many of its non-native residents were immigrants from various European countries, with Italians being the largest, as they came to do mining in the area. West Blockton has a neighborhood previously named Dago Hollow and now called Little Italy. Since 1883, West Blockton has been an essential part of Alabama's history and industrial development. It is a celebrated city with natural beauty on the Cahaba River. West Blockton is located in northern Bibb County at 33 degrees 77 and 87 degrees 722 W, Thalatha we Thalathun. 11,861 degrees north 87. 12278 degrees W, 33. 11,861, minus 87. 12,278, at the southern terminus of the Appalachian Mountains. It is on a midway point between Birmingham and Tuscaloosa. Alabama State Route 5 passes through the town, west of the town center, leading north 7 miles to Woodstock and south 12 miles to Brandon Centerville, the county seat. The community is 7 miles south of Interstate 20 and Interstate 59. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the town has a total area of 4.6 square miles, of which 4.6 square miles is land and 0. 039 square miles, or 0. 52%, is water. West Blockton Coke Ovens Park blends history with nature, providing a place to relax and learn about the history of the industrial era of Alabama and how the Coke ovens supplied the steel of the South. As of the 2020 United States Census, there were 1,217 people, 472 households, and 295 families residing in the town. As of the census of 2010, there were 1,240 people, 494 households, and 341 families residing in the town. The population density was 271 people per square mile. There were 576 housing units at an average density of 125. 2 per square mile. The racial makeup of the town was 85. 6% white, 13. 2% black or African American, 0. 4% Native American, 0. 1% from other races, and 0. 6% from two or more races. 0. 1% of the population were Hispanic or Latino of any race. There were 494 households, out of which 22. 3% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 49. 6% were married couples living together, 14. 6% had a female householder with no husband present, and 31. 0% were non-families. 29. 1% of all households were made up of individuals, and 14. 7% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2. 51 and the average family size was 3. 10. In the town, the population was spread out, with 22. 8% under the age of 18, 7. 2% from 18 to 24, 25. 1% from 25 to 44, 27. 2% from 45 to 64, and 17. 7% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 41. 1 years. For every 100 females, there were 93. 1 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 101. 9 males. The median income for a household in the town was $34,844, and the median income for a family was $59,875. Males had a median income of $37,384 versus $31,167 for females. The per capita income for the town was $22,224. About 11. 3% of families and 11. 4% of the population were below the poverty line, including 12. 2% of those under age 18 and 12. 0% of those age 65 or over. The community's original economy was coal. By 2002 industry left the town. Robert DeWitt of the Tuscaloosa News stated that the community remained active despite the lack of jobs, and that while downtown West Blockton is a shell of its former self. 
The place isn't a ghost town. Bibb County School District operates West Blockton High School. The climate in this area is characterized by hot, humid summers and generally mild to cool winters. According to the Köppen Climate Classification System, West Blockton has a humid subtropical climate, abbreviated CFA on climate maps. Thanks for watching.